Hey guys, I'm coming to you today with a different kind of video today. Um, this video has nothing to do with knives, guns, prepping, bug out bags, any of that type of stuff. I'm doing this video especially for a friend of mine and she knows who she is. Um, I was, I'll call no names but she is one of my YouTube friends that I'm really close with and she has asked me to help her with weight loss or to tell her how I had my weight loss and that's why I wanted to do this video is for her and for anybody else that wants to watch it so if you're not interested in it you might need to turn now but don't do that because I might have some information that you didn't know about that you can tell somebody that is battling weight loss but anyway my friend had asked me about the weight loss so I told her I would do the best to help her what works for me will not maybe work for you or the next person. But I can tell you how I done it. And how I done it worked for me. And it worked extremely. I used to be 250 pounds almost. I'm down to like uh, 135 pounds now. Um, I have gotten down to 125. But I was a little bit too skinny. And had to put some weight back on because my fiance told me that I had bones sticking in them everywhere. Every time I'd get next to them, it was like a bone sticking into them. So I gained a little weight back so that he didn't have nothing to complain about. You know men. You know how they are. But anyway, um, how I lost my weight was I've battled with it for years. I've been to Weight Watchers three different times. I failed. You go to Weight Watchers, you pay 20 bucks a week, or it was back when I went. It was 20 bucks a week for you to step on their scale for them to tell you ding 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 you lost no weight this week and all you do is you get you you just get so depressed you get stressed out and you leave there with your head hung down because you're like man i thought i worked so hard i thought i'd done everything and they have a point system and i even bought a point calculator from weight watchers i paid like 50 bucks for that thing points don't work for me i can't count calories i can't do points i can't do my i don't get tied up in all that stuff but the way I lost weight was I ate no saturated fat, okay? I didn't count calories. I didn't count this and the carbs and all this stuff that people do. Hey, that may work for some people, and I'm not here to bash anybody that does it because, hey, you have your way of doing it. And if it's working for you, stay with it and stick with it. Don't go, don't go my route if you got something that's working for you. Don't listen to me. But if you don't have anything that's worked for you, eat zero saturated fat that is the key here there are two fats that you can eat that is good for you and the first fat is called polyunsaturated fat and the second one is monounsaturated fat those fats are good for you but the saturated fat is bad very bad for you so don't eat it don't eat it the only thing I will not give up on my diet and I don't really call it a diet. I just call it cutting back. But the only thing I will not give up is this right here. And that is my Coca-Cola. I do not give my drinks up for nothing. or no man. I have to have my drink. I don't drink water. I don't drink tea. I don't drink juices. I don't drink anything. I just drink Coca-Cola. That is my drink of preference is Coca-Cola. So don't give that up. This is what I eat. And that's animal crackers. I eat them all the time. I will sit down in front of the TV when I'm when I'm hungry. I feel like I'm hungry. I won't go grab a Twinkie or a Ho Ho or something like that. I will grab animal crackers and I will put them in little tiny snack bags. The serving size on this is about 15 crackers. I can eat 30 of these crackers and I is still zero saturated fat and I'm still good. And I have eat 16 and I have eat more than 16. But I will put them in a little zippy bag, snack bag, and I will actually count the crackers out. I know that takes time, and some of you don't want to do all that, but if you're really, truly serious about losing weight, you will do whatever it takes. No matter how much or what it takes, you will do it. So you got to be serious. That's the first step. you got to be serious. I've heard people say, God, I want to lose weight, and they're unwrapping a, a Twinkie or a Ho-Ho, and they're just chowing down on it. God, I want to lose weight. God, I don't need to be eating this. But they're still eating it and they're still gaining and a year later you know I don't know why I can't lose weight 
I just don't know. Well, you know why you can't lose weight? Because you just ate a half a box of ho-hos. That's why you can't lose weight. That I mean, that's fat all in itself. These honey buns right here, they're the, I don't know if you can see it. There you go. They're just little food line cheap brand honey buns. Six grams of fat per honey bun. These things are that small. I would rather have 30 animal crackers to sit there and eat for 30 minutes than I would have this for, it's only going to last you five seconds. And it doesn't even look that good. It looks like a glob of dough with some icing on it. No, you don't need that. You don't. So that's that's six grams of fat for that. And another thing people get um, they get confused with is like Roman noodles. Oh, I can eat Roman noodles all day long and I'm gonna lose weight. This Roman noodle right here, it is seven grams of fat for this whole thing. Saturated fat, seven whole grams. That's like three to four days. If you have to eat something with saturated fat, if you have to, try to keep it under a gram. Just look at the package and do the one serving. If it says a box has five servings and one serving is one gram of fat, then it's like one gram of fat per serving. Just eat that one serving, whatever the serving. If they say it's a tablespoon or two tablespoons, then that's all you eat. You don't eat all, you don't just go to the pot and start scooping and, and plop it on your plate full of food. You can't do that. That's a big no. That's uh, cheeses and dairy products and stuff like that. That's a high in fat too. I mean, drink some milk, of course, if you like milk, but don't drink three or four glasses in a setting. I will pour a half a glass of milk and I will add ice cubes in it. And that ice, that water will dilute down into the milk. It won't make it watery, but it makes it more and you look like your glass is full. If you add ice to something, it'll make it look full and there you go. I have these cheese that's right here. Yeah, you know, with the cute little monster ink on it. There is, you can have 29 of these crackers and it's 1.5 grams of fat. 29, that's a lot of crackers. And you just sit there and eat them slowly, but surely. And hey, I mean, think about it. I got Oreos here. These Oreos, 2.5 grams of fat per two cookies. Two cookies. And there's 2.5 grams of fat in it. That's three days almost worth of fat that you're eating. But anyway, that's just how, that's how I do it. I do walk and I do exercise. I haven't been exercising the last couple of months, I will say that, and I have gained five or six pounds, more than what I want to be. But I do have a membership to the YMCA, and the only thing I do at the Y is I get on the bike and I get on the treadmill, and that's my two exercise and equipment choices. And, and I sit there and watch TV, I ride the bike, and I walk on a treadmill, and just and that's all I do. I don't lift weights and do all that stuff I need to to get myself tightened up a little, of course. Everybody can use a little tightened up. But this is just pretty much how I lost weight, is zero saturated fat, and it works. But you gotta, you gotta be conscious and you gotta think about what you're eating. You can't think if you eat that ho-ho or you eat that brownie that it's not going to matter. Oh, well, I'll just eat this and it's going to matter. It's only a few fat grounds. Well, if you do that today, you do it again tomorrow, and then the next day, and then the next day, you've already started a whole new, what's the word I'm looking for, which I don't know, but you, you've started something new that you shouldn't be starting because it's just it's going to become a habit. And you don't need that habit because that's a bad habit. But anyway, just be conscious about what you eat. Be conscious about your servings. You don't have to eat everything that's... If somebody cooks five different sides for dinner, you don't have to eat all five sides. Pick two sides you like. Pick three sides, but don't pick them all. Breads, try to stay away from breads and stuff. I mean, garlic bread and all that stuff. I know what stuff you like, but think about it. If you can lose down to your goal weight, if you can lose down to that, then that garlic bread's gonna be waiting for you and you can have it then. Because you can gain a pound or two and fluctuate. You can gain a pound or two and then lose a gain a pound, I mean lose a pound or two the next week. But it's just your it's just your choice. And don't start off big. Don't say, oh I need to lose 150 pounds. 
because you'll never make that goal weight. That's too high of a goal for you to make. Don't do that. Don't do that to yourself. Say, okay, I want to lose five pounds a week. And it can be done. Some people are like, oh no, two pounds, one pound. No, you can do five pounds a week. It, it is easy to, I mean, it's not easy, but you can do it. If you just watch what you eat, you can do five pounds a week. I've done five pounds a week, so I know it can be done. Let your goal weight say, I want to lose 40 pounds by two months. Well, guess what? I bet you if you would follow how I done it, that 40 pounds will be off way before two months is up. You don't need to lose fast because it's not, you're not going to lose fast. It depends on your body. It depends on how much your body is going to fluctuate. But, um, but anyway, if anybody's got any questions or comments, you know, please leave them at the bottom. Um, this is not focused towards anybody. This is just how I did it. It may not be good for you or the next person, but this is my story, and this is how I lost all my weight, and it worked for me. And I know that it worked for somebody else out there. You just be conscious about your saturated fat. I, I've, I live by it. So, I hope that nobody don't have no hard feelings, or if I hadn't said I hope I hadn't said anything wrong to anybody, or anybody take it in the wrong way, but I just wanted to share my story about losing weight, because I have a friend that's wanting to do it, and I'm hoping this video will help her, plus with me helping her, hey, that's what I'm there for, I'm there for my friends if they need me. So, anyway, thank you guys, don't want to make this too much longer, so you guys don't have to sit through this torment, but, um, the, again, I hope this hasn't offended anybody. Um, I just wanted to tell my side of it. So, hope you guys have a good night. Um, stay safe and keep your family safe. And uh, go check out a small channel. Go find a small channel. Um, you can do it. And go sub to them. You guys have been so great with doing that. I've had several people tell me I went and checked out a small channel. I mean, they've inboxed me and said, Hey, I went and checked out this channel and told me the name. That's awesome. So, you guys just... Go on over there, check out that channel. There's, there are uh, so many out there, and it's so hard for me to choose. There's just so many of them. And, but anyway, you guys stay safe, keep your family safe, and uh, have a good night. Bye.